the skies of a chateau day are crowded. Every year, hot air balloonists from all over the world converge on this village in the Swiss Alps. Hundreds of spectators have come to watch, while others will be taking to the air. The pilots prepare for takeoff in the morning. First, they blow cold air into the nylon hulls. Propane heaters cause it to expand. It takes at least an hour before a balloon is fully inflated. Geraldine Fashnacht puts on her wingsuit. Today, the Swiss extreme athlete is not just going up in a balloon, she's planning to jump out of it. If it's a lot of wind uh, higher up, we're going to be pretty far from, the, from this place. It's going to be hard to come back. <laughs> but as we have really big wingsuits, normally we can fly back. As Geraldine Fashnacht ascends, Jessica Schwarz and Philippe Duvaux are completing their preparations. The two amateur balloonists like coming to the festival to meet other enthusiasts. Today, Jessica Schwarz will be steering the balloon. This is the first time she's done that over such difficult terrain. What's wonderful about ballooning is the freedom in the air, being outdoors and floating above everything. Suddenly everything down below is tiny and seems unimportant. It's like a dream. The balloonists enjoy the breathtaking views of the Swiss Alps. But then things get tricky. The balloon doesn't float along the valley to its destination as planned. The wind is carrying it higher into the mountains. <laughs> Geraldine Fashnacht's adrenaline level is rising too. She's reached jumping altitude, 1,500 meters. Luck, Fashnacht ignites a smoke bomb for her spectators below and jumps. The landing site is far away now and she'll have to travel that distance at up to 180 kilometers an hour. She free falls for almost four minutes before opening her parachute. Fashnacht makes a precision landing back in Chateau Day. I told you before, the difficulty is always to come back because as with the, the balloon, we have just to follow the air. And uh, by the time we were out there, we were already pretty far away. So we had to wait to come back a little bit with the balloon and then to be sure that we could come back with the wingsuit. Meanwhile, Jessica Schwarz and Philippe Duvaux have also mastered the difficult wind conditions. We're moving in the right direction again. We had to find the altitude where the wind will take us in the direction we want to go. After they're back on track, they start to descend. The landing area is not very large. The main challenge is not to crash into the surrounding buildings. Come <laughs> <laughs> We've now landed lying on our side and Philippe says I did a good job because we were travelling at 19 kilometres an hour when we landed. And that's a lot, relatively speaking. <laughs> the two balloonists pack up their balloon. The pickup vehicle is already on its way from Chateau Day. The sky above the little village is gradually clearing as the last balloons prepare to land. <laughs> 